Hey guys, so originally I was not planning on filming today, but then I thought it would be the perfect time to tell you my thoughts on the new Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation. I was so excited when I first heard about this coming out. Um, I saw a post from another lovely lady here on YouTube, Lip Gloss Leslie. Um, I saw her post on Instagram when she had picked it up. And I was super excited to try it. And then when I stopped at Meyer the other night after work, one of many stops for a few groceries. Of course, I always have to walk by the cosmetics section. And there it was right on the end, a full display of the new Fit Me line. Um, I didn't even really look closely at the powder. I was kind of hurry to get home and make dinner. But, um, so I did not get the powder. But I usually like to set my foundation with a powder foundation anyway for just like a little bit more coverage. But I'll probably end up trying that powder probably um, for maybe like a touch up powder. But okay, today is Sunday, so it's about 3.40 in the afternoon. So I've had this on for um, over six hours now and I did not touch up, I had not blotted. I have not powdered nothing and I think it's doing amazing now some people um, when they first try out foundation for like a first impressions review or something they don't use a primer or a setting powder um, but even if I was doing that kind of video which I have worn this a few times now so it's not like that I don't ever do that um, they say they like to see how it does on its own but to me that's not realistic at all because I always, always need a primer and setting powder. If I do, don't do that, I'm just asking for a disaster. Um, so I did use to set under eyes um, after I used my Pro Longwear Concealer. I did set my under eyes with my MAC Prep and Prime CC Powder and Adjust. And then over the rest of my face, my Cover FX, um pressed mineral foundation just for a little added coverage um the other day i did wear it with the maybelline fit me concealer under the eyes um, instead of my prolonged wear and i did wear really well with it um so and this is only i got mine from online at target for just over four dollars so i mean you can get it for around five bucks so this is a really great concealer i finally tried it out recently because i've kept hearing good about it so that is a really great drugstore concealer as well um i did get this for 619 at meyer if i hadn't said that already they did have an excellent shade range for fair skin tones um so if you're like me you're gonna have lots of shades to choose from plenty of range there was at least another three shades lighter than the one i chose and i got 120 classic ivory the lightest one looked like it would match even like the fairest of the fair. It was very, very light. Um, if you have deeper skin tones, there really wasn't that many um, to choose from. If you're like the darkest of the dark, you're probably not going to be able to use this, I wouldn't think. Um, but yeah, so it's more geared toward the fair skin tones. Um, coverage. I, for me, since I have a lot of redness, I could, I did need two layers and that built up to just like a medium coverage, which I don't mind. I just, after that I use, um, like I said, powder foundation to finish off and make it full coverage. Now I, I always apply foundation with my beauty blender. That's just my absolute favorite way to apply. However, since this is, um, water-based, the first ingredient is water. Um, it does absorb a bit of the product so I did find that I needed a lot more um, than I would have probably if I was using a brush but I mean that's something I can live with since it is such a great price like I said it's just over six dollars at Meijer probably around six bucks at Walmart um, I have heard it's over eight dollars places like Walgreens so I'll definitely recommend waiting for a sale if you have to get it there um, otherwise, go to, like I said, which would probably be at Walmart or Target soon. 
and like I said, I got mine at Meyer, which I know isn't all around the country. And um, for shade reference, like I said, I got 120 and in CoverGirl Outlast, I'm about the 825 is usually a good match. Um, and then it's a little bit darker on me than my L'Oreal True Match in N2. <clears throat> And I'm also, I use an NW20 in my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Um, and like I said, I did use primer. Um, on days that I need my foundation to really, really last, like Sundays, um, I did go ahead and use also the Milk of Magnesia first, so that helps. Um, if you have super oily skin like me, which... Um, I still get really oily with this by the end of the day in the summer because I'm so so oily but in the winter it's a lot more manageable um, so winter is a good time for me to try out new foundations um, so I did use that and then my Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer so I did use those first and then of course set with the powders that I told you about so overall I think this is an awesome drugstore foundation. I would highly recommend trying it. If you like combination oily, I think you're really going to like it. It does have less coverage than the CoverGirl Outlast, but like I said, I don't really mind that. It has such a nice finish to it. I really like do prefer the finish of this as opposed to the CoverGirl Outlast, which can almost look too powdery. This, when it dries, it dries really quickly and has just such a soft matte feeling almost powdery but it looks natural and I just really 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 love the way it dries and wears um yeah so obviously I really like it so I would definitely recommend that you give it a try if you're in the market for a new foundation so I think that's all for now and I will see you in my next video Bye guys! They dude. They dude. <laughs>